Rotavirus causes 200,000 childhood deaths annually worldwide, mostly in unvaccinated populations. And this segmented, double-stranded RNA virus infects the villus tips of the small intestine, especially the duodenum and the jejunum. The damage leads to the villus blunting and crypt hyperplasia, drastically reducing the absorptive surface and drives the watery secretory uh, diarrhea. Unlike the bacterial infections like C. diff or salmonella, rotavirus causes non-inflammatory diarrhea. So here we have our example of a 14-year-old, 14th month old unvaccinated boy, two days of watery diarrhea, mild fever, stool PCR, has a segmented double-stranded RNA virus. Which histological feature would you see? It's gonna be blunted villi and crypt hyperplasia. So B, your pseudomembrane, that'd be your C. diff, flask ulcers, that would be your intamoeba histolica, foamy, that'd be your Whipple disease, and payer patch would be salmonella typhi. So the big three things that we need to know to never miss this question again, one, detection of rotavirus via PCR test that confirms viral gastroenteritis. Two, the mechanism of rotavirus infection involves villus blunting in the small intestine. Three, non-inflammatory nature of rotavirus diarrhea differentiated from the others. C. diff and intamoeba are gonna have inflammatory changes and mucosal injury. There you go. If this is helpful, then like and subscribe.